the thought of going out and having some fun while seeing some nice girls they um, was in my mind and uh, even though I would have liked not to give it my attention and and engage with it hello guys this is Cyprian G at the present and precise moment of 10.39 p.m. on the date of 26.12.2017 documenting the step number 9 from the book Steps to Knowledge channeled by Marshall Vian Summers so what is this step about? step number 9 it's called in stillness all things can be known let's just jump into what i've written down here so so practice number one it it's been between 1715 and 1738 and here i write i focused my attention as much as i could on the statement and feeling i am but I did get distracted by other thoughts and then I would remember and focus again on the I amness. So yeah, when, when you start meditating at first, for a long period, I think that's how it is still for me. I mean, you can see, even if you focus on one thing, you can see that your mind keeps on bringing up other ideas, other thoughts, other... I don't know, worries, all kinds of thinking and you genuinely give attention to them even if they, they're not on your immediate interest or stuff like that you know, your mind, your attention just picks up on them and it creates a whole story out of them so that's why meditation is so important so we can, um, we can control our minds better we can choose which thoughts to engage with with which thoughts to give our attention to and which thoughts to not give attention i lay down in the bed for this practice so i did fall asleep lose conscious awareness for a time which i'm not sure how much yeah i tried to lay down uh, for this step and uh yeah it seems like I didn't do a second practice because uh, because Saturday night and uh, my mind, since I'm not an experienced meditator, uh, my the thought of going out and having some fun while seeing some nice girls, they um, was in my mind and. Uh, even though I would have liked not to give it my attention and and engage with it, I eventually it was it was a, so strong that I had to fulfill it. So I did, went outside and it happens. I'm glad I did, it was fun, I danced a lot. Hey, less about that dance, right? Having some fun. So let's see, what's the general perspective that I wrote about this specific step? General perspective number nine. While I've had no revelation while attending the practice of this step, none that I can remember anyway, I do have some great personal experiences when it comes to meditation and stillness. The wonderful state of uh, stillness and I call it voidness, uh, where, the, where there is no input from our physical senses, is where we come in, in contact with an uh, internal peace that is uh, hard to reach otherwise. Also, this is a most desired place to be in for the manifestation of our, of our own desires since there is a vivid and real feeling to everything that we imagine so if we imagine in that state of voidness of stillness we imagine ourselves being in the place where we where we 
being in the place where we would want to be, you know, living our desired life and giving it that realness, vividness and feeling to it, well, then uh, it will manifest much faster. So yeah, there isn't, uh, I don't think there is much more to say on the step number nine. In stillness, all things can be known. Yes, I think it's true. How do I think, why do I think it's true? Good question. Well, fine, I've had, I don't know. I felt a lot of things in different meditation sessions and, you know, my gut feeling is that it's true and the different documentaries and everything there were also this idea of stillness and a great documentary about this is inner worlds outer worlds i remember they spoke about this stillness there also so yeah this has been step number nine i'm glad you watched it Maybe you even enjoyed it a little bit, got something out of it, I don't know. If you liked it, watch some more. If not, watch something that you like. Thanks for watching this. Chip G out.